One word that describes a bad boy. Dangerous. Adventure. Light skin. Mysterious. Sway. State your name. My name is Kimberly Garrick. How old are you, Kim? I am 19 years old. What year are you in college? I am a sophomore here at Manhattan Hill College. Here, I'm going to ask you a couple questions, okay? It's fine. Define what you think it means to be a man in terms of a relationship. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> to be a man, like quote, quote, a man in a relationship. Well, our society has a different version of it. The man is supposed to, you know, ask the girl out on the date and, you know, pay for the dinner and, like, you know, initiate things. But I don't think that's what a man truly is. Like, you know, it's okay for a girl to ask a guy, hey, you want to go get lunch or something? Or, like, hey, I like you. <laughs> but um, I think the guy, to me, a man means that you're, you know, you can show emotion. You don't have to be that macho man that everybody, like, you're not a superhero. So to be a man, I think that you're just, you know, you're real, you're trustworthy, you know, you show emotion, like you, you don't hide your feelings up. Um, yeah, that's what a man is. When you think of the term bad boy, what image pops in your head? Bad boy. Um, like a biker. <laughs> I don't know, I remember watching something and then they were just like, oh, you like bad boys? And the bad boy was like, oh, it was a, like a good neighbor, state farm is there, with a bad boy. And like the image of the bad boy came out with like a biker guy with like uh, a biker jacket with all like a muscle tee and like the abs and the muscles and he was just like, hi. Like, and I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> this is not a bad boy. But um, I don't really know the definition of a bad boy because I feel like everybody has their own perspective on it, so. Um, but what I think a bad boy is, like, someone who, you know, he's a heartbreaker. <laughs> like, um, Tail, Tail Cruz songs, I don't want to break your heart, that's a bad boy. <laughs> that's what he wants to do, break hearts. Have you ever been attracted to a bad boy? Uh, if so, why? Uh, I can, yeah, I think so. I have been. Yeah, attracted to a bad boy. And it's because, well, I think it's because in middle, not middle school, in preschool, when like a guy was like tugging on your hair or like when he was like kicking your chair, they would tell you, oh, it's because they have a crush on you. So you're just like, okay. So every time a guy does something mean to me, that means that he likes me, so I'm gonna like him back. No, wrong. <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> that is far from it. But I think I was, I don't know. I like the, like, the mystery. Everybody likes a challenge. So like, for me, I thought I could not change him, but like help him not be the bad boy that everybody sees, like from their perspective. Like, it's not that he was bad; it's just that he wasn't <laughs> he wasn't great. So I felt like I could help him in that, better himself, like do good in school and whatnot. So, why do you think girls are thought to be drawn to bad boys? What are your opinions on this? Um. <clears throat> To be honest, I really don't know why people assume that girls just like bad boys, because in a way, all guys are the same, whether they're like they're bad or they're good, they're gonna break hearts either way. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, I don't know. I feel like, like I said before, we like a challenge. Like we don't want it to be easy. We don't want it to, you know. We want our relationship to be interesting so like we're gonna be that girl in the movies who gets the bad boy and like who you know who becomes famous and who has the relationship goal relationship you know everybody were popular and whatever so um i don't really agree with that to be honest that's my thought on it i believe that it's dumb <laughs> and um we shouldn't be like what what are we what are girls perceived as if we're always going after the bad boy, you know? Like, that's not what girls or women should be portrayed as. Like, no. A relationship is a relationship in a way. And if you like someone, it doesn't matter if they're good or bad. Like, what is your definition of good or bad? Who are we to judge? So. What's your name? Suzanne de Mises. How old are you, Susie? 19. What year are you at Manhattanville? A sophomore. Define what you think it means to be a man in terms of a relationship. In a relationship, in terms of being a man, is that you respect your other and... I think 
biggest one is respect. When you think of the term bad boy, what image pops in your head? An aggressive man. Anything else? Aggressive and overprotective, depending on the guy. Have you ever been attracted to a bad boy? If so, why? This is the part. You, in the beginning, you think he's a good guy, but really he's a bad boy. Because the bad boy, he hides it. Because in the beginning, he's all loving and everything you ever wanted, and later on is when he basically unravels that he is the bad guy. Why were you attracted to the bad boy? Because he offered everything I ever looked for in the guy. But really, he was offering just big things in order to get other things in return. Such as? I mean, the bad guys go after getting you sexually, getting you attached. Really, they just mean harm. Why do you think girls are thought to be drawn to bad boys? What are your opinions on this? Girls are thought to be drawn to bad boys because they like all the toughness. Like, oh my gosh, I want someone to be always there to protect me and this, this and that. And they, they don't like to have like a let's say like scrawny little boyfriend or something. They're just like, oh, he's a bad guy. Like, look at him, he has his squad and everything. But really, it's nothing big. What's your name? Brandon Alves. How old are you, Brandon? I'm 20 years old. What year are you in college? I am a sophomore in college. Okay. I'm gonna ask you a couple questions, okay? Define what you think it means to be a man in a relationship. It would be somebody who takes responsibility and the initiative in a relationship. And somebody who's seen as, I guess, a stronger, more dominant. In your honest opinion, in today's world, what do you think women look for in a man? Um, I think that women look for that type of dominance. Um, women also, they would obviously look for somebody who's compatible to their personality. And, do you think the term bad boy is offensive or a compliment? To me personally, or is it to everyone? Uh, to you personally. To me personally, I think it'd be more offensive because a bad boy is somebody who treats I guess, a girl like crap, like doesn't treat her right the way she's supposed to, and it's not me. And also, a bad boy is somebody who constantly like rebellious to almost everything in their life. So that's also Women are portrayed as attracted to a bad boy type in movies, TV shows, etc. Why do you think this is? And what is your opinion on this particular matter? Mm, I think it's more to do something they want it's pretty much like they want to be able to have something that's uncontrollable like they want to be able to control something that's uncontrollable and i guess like be able to show or like change it like it would be an accomplishment to change someone like that and yeah pretty much that that's it. I think it's just the chase of it all and the challenge. What's your name? Uh, my name is Jamie Mackia. How old are you? I am 19 years old. What year are you at Manhattan College? I am a sophomore. Define what you think it means to be a man in a relationship. Uh, to be a man in a relationship, I guess, obviously you have to have a significant other who you pay a lot of attention to and make them a part of your every, everyday life and go out of your way to make them feel happy. 
In your honest opinion, in today's world, what do you think women look for in a man? Uh, I think they look for, well most I think look for intelligence, I think they look for responsibility, I think they look for confidence, and uh, yeah I guess those are like three main traits. Do you find the term bad boy offensive or a compliment? Uh, I really don't find it either, to be honest. I find it like kind of a stupid term, I guess. Not really. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like to be a bad boy, like, I'm not even trying to put it into words. like. It's not really, I don't know what say, honestly. Women are portrayed as attracted to a bad boy type in movies, TV shows, etc. Why do you think this is, and what is your opinion on this particular matter? Uh, personally, I find that pretty stupid because in real life, I don't think that's the case. I think there are some women who might be attracted to that type of personality, but there are plenty of women who I think don't look for somebody who's necessarily a bad boy. They'll just look for somebody that is I guess either mostly similar to them with like maybe a little bit of differences, but I don't th I think that's stupid how like in those like mainstream teen movies you always have those girls wanting a bad boy. I think that's Just the chase of it all. What is your definition of fair or bad? Who are we to judge?